The Wenatchee Apple Sox hosted the Bellingham Bells in West Coast League play. The Sox and Bells are two of the top teams in league. Sox pitching coach A.J. Prozac is happy with how the season's gone so far. We got a lot of different guys coming in and out. We're starting to piece together, I think, a, a complete team. Uh, we got a good group of guys, I think, and uh, competition-wise, I think we got enough guys to compete day in and day out. Apple Sox players Trenton Brooks and Cooper Elliott are optimistic about the rest of their season. I feel like the best is yet to come. I feel like we're going to start swinging it well. I mean, our bats are going to get hotter. Pitching is doing pretty well so far. I think that's only going to get better. Um, we got a lot of good players from a lot of good colleges. And you know, I expect us to bounce back. Uh, we always have that respondability factor coming into play whenever we lose a game like the last two games. And I think we're going to come back strong. It was all pitching early as Sox starter Griffin Canyon went six innings of three-hit ball, allowing zero runs, while Bell starter Edar Irivas went seven innings of three-hit ball, also allowing zero runs. In the seventh inning, the bats got going as the Bells hit three across and hit three more in the top of the eighth. But the Sox might have a comeback in the bottom frame, scoring six and tying the game, getting the crowd of over 3,000 in attendance at Paul Thomas Stadium fired up. But Bells outfielder Walker Ellis would single in the winning run at the top of the ninth. Bells would beat the Sox 7-6 and sweep the three-game series. Luckily, Sox fans had post-game fireworks to cheer them up and welcome in the fourth. From all of us at i 5 Rolling Sports, have a happy fourth. I'm Sean Wells.